We were gonna do it in Santa Barbara because of his parents, but then I found this beautiful hotel in Montauk. And... You're testing her for a brain tumor? That's what I told her. You can chastise me after you look at the monitor. Look what's lighting up. Lateral frontal cortex, broker's area, so what? I told her it was customary to talk during MRIs, to relax. I spent the last 30 minutes asking her about everything in life that she loves, then hates, then feels any emotion about at all. There's nothing in the paralimbic system, I meant Because she's using the language part of her brain and bypassing the emotional. She can understand love and pain and empathy, but she can't feel them at all. She's a psychopath. Why do you want to meet her so badly? Psychopaths always fascinate me. I think it's their cultural literacy and strong family values. Or is that Jews? We're not going to be able to get an honest read on her unless we figure out a way to get the husband out of there. Hmm. I got an idea. Can you get out of here? Thanks. It was the thanks that did it. Hi, I'm Dr. House. How long have you been a psychopath? Are you kidding? He's not. Are you saying I'm like Ted Bundy or something? Psychopathy can get a bad rap. Doesn't necessarily mean you're violent. Just that you're completely without conscience. You lack any normal emotion. You manipulate everyone around you. You're promiscuous. You lie pathologically. Any of this ringing bells? Is that why you were asking me all those weird questions? Yeah. Oh, you have Darwin to thank for that. She got the creeps around you. Which, oddly, is an actual medical phenomenon around psychopaths. Probably an evolved response to predators. I'm sorry. You're really freaking me out. I have no idea what... Relax. We have a duty of confidentiality, and you have an undiagnosed heart problem that could kill you at any moment. We believe that your mental abnormality is related to your physical one. So you want to keep on... predating. What do you want to know? Your coworker's story was true. You poisoned him. No. I gave him a little Valium and an emetic. You sure you understand what the word no means? I've had them both before. Why can't he? So you were just helping him out? And I assume he was cool with the whole seducing and firing part, too. Russ knew what he was getting into. He got sex every Thursday night, and I got to take credit for his best ideas. And what are you getting out of your marriage? Same thing you get out of your job. Bill has a trust fund, and I have a prenup his parents made me sign. I told you he was rich. She's not that weird. I'm not so different than anybody else. Everyone I've ever known, my family, my classmates, the people I work with, they're all out for themselves. Difference is I could admit it to myself. She kind of reminds me of someone I know. Tell me about it. Some of my coworkers will insult people right to their faces. How long have you been this way? Just how I am. You gonna cure my heart problems now? So. Psychopathy plus cardiac arrhythmia. Go. I thought you were bluffing to get information. You really think they're connected? Two rare conditions in one patient. It's a fair assumption they are. Psychopathy is generally just genetic. Nothing you can do about it. And something that hits 30 years after birth isn't going to be connected. There are diseases that could lie dormant that long. In her heart, warp her brain. Maybe a handful of diseases. It'll be super awesome when we find it. Tertiary syphilis can cause pseudopsychopathic syndrome and cardiomyopathy. Fits best. Start around penicillin. Rule out Wilson's and Hashimoto's. There's your handful. Was it so hard, was it? Even if the tests are positive, you don't have to worry. You're testing for syphilis, not a cold. Honey. At this stage, it's probably not communicable. You think I'm worried about myself? I just want my wife to get better. She might have caught it at birth, so it doesn't prove she was cheating, if you were worried about that. Of course not. How many weeks am I going to have to? <coughs> you OK? <coughs> Why is she coughing? <coughs> I don't know. Do you want some water? Are you threatened by me? Not at all. Well, you should be. You let him know what I told you, I will not only have your license pulled, I will sue you for everything I lose in the divorce. So the fun you get out of making those snotty little comments, is it worth $19 million? Oh wait, will you hold that look? I'm really bad at showing emotions. How's this? <gasps> Thanks, baby. Can I have your arm, please? Oh, my arm! 
You broke it! <laughs> I'm Dr. Hadley. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, but I was told you're Valerie's sister. I was just surprised you came to visit. Yeah, yeah. So is the rest of my family. I was even more surprised you got tested as a donor. Wrong blood type. But why? I mean, you know what she's like. She's not that bad. Yes, she is. Our dad was a mean drunk. I was the older sister. I was supposed to stand up for her, not the other way around. But she protected you when you were kids? Yeah, and then all of a sudden, all of his crap and all of his abuse, it just changed her. It made her cold. When? We were wrong. Psychopathy is a symptom. I spoke to her sister. She wasn't always like this. She changed, and right around adolescence. So, liver, heart, brain can lie dormant, and it starts at puberty. The raw food diet makes you go fulminant. Nuts are high in copper. It's Wilson's disease. We ruled that out, no Kaiser Fleischer rings. There's one other sign. I know there are lipstick lesbians. Are there nail polish remover bisexuals? She's not supposed to be here. As a doctor, you didn't say anything about her capacity as a beautician's assistant. Her fingernails blue? Yep. Start our own chelation. What just happened? You're gonna get better. Your body has an inability to process copper. It caused all of your problems, even what's wrong with your brain. And that's gonna change too? It's probably rewired her neurons permanently by now. But it's possible. Maybe. Your vitals are up. Treatment's working. I'm not sure we can fix your liver, but we can definitely list you for a new one. When you're better, we're gonna take a long vacation. You wanna go to Vietnam, one of the beaches, we're gonna get a hut, just you and me, nothing to worry about. You're pathetic. What? I mean, when you had a suspicion, fine. But you know now. How can you be this pitiful? You don't mean this. You're sick. I'm not sick. I almost died and I still might. And who knows, maybe it's focusing my mind because the idea of spending the rest of my life with Valerie. you. Why'd you do that? Because he's pathetic. He hasn't changed. But you have. Treatment actually worked on your brain. If you were still a psychopath, you would have just kept draining him dry. What do you want? You're feeling something. What is it? What do you feel? It will. 